Hello everyone, Jacob Hess here, and in today's video we're going to discuss the top five mistakes that people make when getting into a career in information technology. To get started, I'll unveil the top five mistakes people make when getting into IT, and then we'll dive into each one of them individually. All right. So here are the top five mistakes people make when getting into IT. Number one is doing the wrong things to break into a career in IT. It's important to understand that you can actually get started in an IT career much faster than many people think. In fact, you could be working in IT in just six months to one year if you really want to. So it's important to make sure you aren't unnecessarily wasting your time and instead, you're doing the right things to break into an IT career, such as using accelerated learning, working on real-world skills, getting certified, and working to land your first job. All right, second in our list of the top five mistakes people make when getting into IT is stopping growth and becoming complacent. Especially in IT, it is of vast importance to always keep learning and growing your knowledge and skills. One common mistake that folks make is they stop working on new knowledge once they land their job and they become complacent. Don't grow and end up getting stuck in the same job for way too long. So take our advice here folks and make sure you always keep a growth mindset and make sure you don't get complacent after you land your first IT job or get started in your actual career. And now for the third mistake that people make when getting into IT and that is forgetting who it is that you actually work for. This happens to a lot of folks once they start working in IT. They get into a job they love and where they have control of a lot of powerful and really cool technology. Then they start getting a big head, thinking they're full of smarts because they work with all this cool tech, but forget actually why their job truly exists. And IT jobs exist to serve the users of the network and the computer systems. So, as IT engineers, we actually work for and serve the end users. And we should always keep that in mind, folks. We need to make sure that we have empathy for the network users, and we try to actually understand them. We need to always remember that we're here to make sure they can work and get their job done. The users are not inferior to the computer system administrators and should always be treated with the utmost respect. So, word of advice, don't let that happen to you. Don't let yourself get a big head and forget that it's the network user that you actually serve. Now for the fourth mistake, and that is forgetting to keep it interesting. Now this is super important because working in IT has so many different avenues to explore that there's literally never any reason that you should get bored. However, some folks do tend to get complacent. They forget the world of technology is at their fingertips and stop trying to move forward with things that actually interest them. If you want to keep your passions burning in this industry, then you need to make sure that you make an effort to keep yourself interested in the ever-evolving world of technology. Now that shouldn't be too, too difficult to do, but take our advice here and make sure that you keep this in mind. Find ways to keep yourself interested in your work and then, well, it won't ever feel like work, will it? And now for the fifth, final, and likely the biggest mistake that folks make when getting into IT. And that is focusing too much on certifications and not enough on actual skills. This is super important because with all the certifications in the industry, some people can get certification happy, trying to get every certification under the sun. While having a good stack of certs can be extremely beneficial for your career, if you focus too much on that, you may actually be missing opportunities to truly evolve your skills. Instead of focusing purely on what is that next certification you want to get, try sitting back and instead thinking, what are some of the most useful skills that I could learn that will make me a better engineer? And then just focus on, focus on developing those skills and honing those skills rather than focusing purely on obtaining that next cert. Disclaimer time, certifications are great and they can also be used to prove that you know certain skills and things. And we even have our own certs here at NextGenT that are focused around real world skills certification. So we're not trying to downplay by any means the value of certifications. The point here, however, is just make sure you don't get stuck only thinking about certs. And you remember that it's actually the skills that pay the bills. So make sure that you actually have them. Well, thank you folks for joining me on this dive into the top five mistakes people make when getting into IT. 
This information should help to empower you as you start your career in IT and keep you driving in the direction of success. Again, thanks for viewing folks. This is Jacob Hess, your instructor and mentor, and I'll see you in the next video. Jacob Hess here. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I'd also like to remind you, if you're truly serious about your career in information technology, be sure to check out our IT engineer training programs at www.zerotoengineer.com.